Hey guys, it's your boy Breath and I'm back with another video and to everyone who's new to the channel on this channel we talk about music, music marketing, music production and all the other related stuff and today's video is about my favorite and that is why I'm so excited it's about how to make a track like Flume I've been a Flume fan since a very long time now and today we're gonna talk about the production techniques he uses and all the stuff that can help you to make a track like him so why wait, let's jump into the video right away So we are in the session and let's check out what I have added here. It's been a while that I created this track but I just wanted to share it with you guys so let's check it out. This is a very basic chord progression that I've used and I use Serum to make it and this is how it looks and sounds like. Also I just wanted to tell you that the key is G sharp minor and Flu makes a lot of tracks in G sharp minor. BPM is 140 which is also common for like a trap thing but he doesn't really do trap. He does, I don't know what he does man, I don't know. I've used a basic Reese bass and it's a preset by a pack called Flume which is F L O M. I don't know who made it but sounds dope you know and then there's a sound that I created it's actually an ARP it has four notes and I did not put it to the grid it's off grid and I used a sample to create it this is how the sample sounds like and now this is how the ARP sounds like Very simple, took me 5 minutes to come up with this and then there's another random melody. There's another vocal chop I used and played some random notes. Some basic percussions and I would want to play you the intro and let's do that. This is how the intro sounds like and let's move into the drop. It's not basically a drop, I hate the word drop. I you want to use chorus, why did I use drop, why did I use drop? Okay, let's check it out. My favorite part, drums. I'll just play it with the kick and the low end and the snare. I've done some things which you like, which Flume also does. I made those lazy kind of drums that feel like they're dragging and Let's play them. Love these drums, then I've used a sample, um, which is like a, I don't know, Chinese something. Some vocal chops, some arcade, I don't use arcade anymore, so they are freeze and flattened. And then there's this chord progression, also the sound that I created, that ARP sound. Um, I'll just give you a snippet of how the drop or chorus sounds like. Okay, so uh, then uh, let's move on to the break. So what I want to do in this video is like show you the track and then play it at the end, which is something I think I should be doing. I don't know what I'm, why I'm saying this, I don't know. This is the break by the way. One important thing Flume does is use the cutoff knob a lot and automate it all the time. So as you can see, there's so much automation <clears throat> while the track is moving forward the cutoff is increasing and it creates an effect like it's going into something broad I don't know what I just said but you get the drift right? Oh. 
No, not now, not now. I just want to show you how I did it. This is not actually a loop. This is something I made from granular synthesis. So the app I made, I put that into a serum uh, lead hybrid preset and it sounded like this. He also uses granular synthesis a lot. So I freezed, flattened it and put it into a granulator. I don't have it right here because it's a track that I made a year back. Um, I don't know why I'm showing this now. I should have made it this video then. But like after doing some automation, some blah, 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 some Einstein stuff, this is what I came up with. Uh, this is also continued in the chorus drop, whatever you want to call it. Why am I saying it again and again? Call it whatever the fuck you want. Okay, so I think uh, this is pretty much it. I've used all these elements and that's it. No big deal. Less is more. Like I always say, keep it fresh guys. I'm gonna play this track at the end of the video. And this is the end of the video. I don't know why I'm repeating stuff. Let's check it out. Adios amigos, take care, sayonara, this is Brad signing out, always keep it fresh, guys keep it fresh please, take care, huh?